Hello and welcome to the show. We are here today on GTA 5 going to be doing another Survive the Hunt. We are back to the more simplified rules, kind of more simplified rules of trying to blow up some trees around the city while I have to try and survive for 24 hours of GTA 5 time. Ignore the scratches on the front of my car. A monster truck tried to run me over and it ended up in it ended up that. I say ignore the scratch on the front of my car, it's not like we're not blowing stuff up already, because of course we have... It's us lot trying to be organised. You know what, at 11.30 uh, we are going to be underway here. We are going to set off... Oh, there we go! <laughs> and they fell off the front of the... Oh, I've got a dent. They have a dent on the side. God damn it. No blood was left on my car, just a big dent on the side of the Monroe. Here we go. Half past 11 is the start time. We've got to try... Ooh! Okay, just lost the back end for no good reason. Um, is the, yeah, is the start time. Uh, we've got to try and survive for that 24 hours and blow up as many cars as we possibly can. So far, the spawn set of vehicles I'm looking around here is not great. If you haven't seen one of these before, <laughs> the way it works is, ooh, we get twitchy in this particular car. Um, there is no map, there is no name over player. So this is all about stealth. It's all about me trying to blend in with the AI cars, trying to blend in with traffic and so on. Uh, because the hunters... Uh, well, can't see it. And if we can sneak around the map for as long as possible, that is very helpful indeed. Ooh, that's a clip. And a roll for good luck. <laughs> Sultan. This thing's an old oversteery that I remember it being. I don't remember this being quite such a twitchy oversteery car, but... Here we go, it is a thing. I, at the moment, I'm really not seeing much in terms of uh, vehicles to use. I don't really want a Futo. Don't really want a Fusillade. It might be a Sultan. I haven't actually driven a Sultan for a while, uh, to be honest with you. I'm a high, I am kind of half tempted by one, you know? I am half tempted by grabbing a uh, Sultan, sorry. Definitely not a Futo. A Futo is literally, like, a last resort. I have nothing. Crap, this had better work sort of a car. Uh, that, that, is, that is it. Um, what have we got? We have some... I changed up the clothes a little bit that I have. Not that everyone's, anyone's likely to remember, because it's like a month in between filming. No one remembers. Uh, but just just more generic, uh, hopefully civilian clothes. Now, I have a two-minute head start, which has actually been eaten into quite a lot. God damn it, there's not a Sultan in sight. There really isn't. Typical, I got out of the car now. I abandoned my car. I tried to abandon my car sort of a little bit out of the way. Oh, there is a pink pre over there. Now, I'm not allowed to blow up cars. There really is nothing nothing around when anybody wants it. That salt one's going to be gone. I might have to just grab a fusillade at this point. You know what? No, traffic, traffic, traffic. <laughs> Don't make me go and grab a bloody futo. We're just prattling around in the junction. That salt in there will do. Uh, this is a actually quite dull. Let's say dull spawn set. Um, the way the game works with its vehicles is uh, yeah there are sets of car that will spawn around the place and the one that has the salt in it is actually one of the less exciting ones I think if we get to the city we might get some better cars spawning in uh, I'm not gonna blow up that pre just yet we're quite close to I think we would have just been I think I'll oh, just so. yeah it would be a little bit close on the old setting off time so in the interest of uh, fairness Shall we say? We're not going to blow up that one, but I do know where it is. That's actually an important one. So it's by, the, by that big car wash. That's actually not too bad to navigate towards. Now we are off into stealthy, sneaky mode. So we are going to try and drive around the city like a sensible person as best as possible. There are various things that can and potentially will give us away from just outright bad luck. Uh, AI is doing funky things. I'm not going to go, well, I might go for the get out of the car to sticky bomb stuff. It's really going to depend on the situation. If I can do it quickly, then yes. If not, I might still throw the bomb from inside the car. Uh, the smashed window or rolled down window, either one, will be a bit of a giveaway. But the time it takes to get out of the car, sticky bombs, and get back in the car is also quite a lot. So we've got to kind of weigh up both of these things. Uh, right, whereabouts actually am I here? I'm uh, just figuring out what way to head. I think there's... Pre. Okay, there's a pre down by the beach, which is kind of half tempting to go towards, and we can go down there. We can go down and get the one by the beach. That seems like a sensible one. So I do have a map of where all the pre's are located, uh, because, well, at the end of the day, the hunters do want me to get them. They're all personal vehicles, so if I blow up the, the cars, it sends up a little signal flare, if you will, as to roughly where I am or where I was at any given moment or at a point in time. So they, they kind of want me to find the cars, to blow them up, etc. Uh, we, we could be setting this set of lights forever. <laughs> Come on. Oh, there we go. Fantastic stuff. Let's not get carried away and do something stupid. 
Uh, there we go, we've made that junction relatively nicely. So yeah, if we head along this road and if we head down towards the down towards the beach, that will work nicely. So there's one, the Chinese Monument has got one there as well. They do tend to like to put one uh, along that bit. I might not blow that one up first. If we go down to the beach, the beach seems like a quite a nice... Oh, for God's sake. AI, you have dinged my car immediately. Is it a big enough ding to have a problem? Uh, might have got away with it, actually. Ugh. Okay, so there is no visual damage on my car. This is always a bit of a sketchy thing uh, to have happen because damage doesn't sink, basically. So what shows up as damage on my end might not show up on the hunter's end and vice versa. So I can have a completely clean car and it can be more damaged on their end, basically. So, yeah, it's not an ideal situation to have, because I don't know, it's just, it's just a case of I don't know what he's going to be displaying for anybody, but fingers crossed it'll be okay. Uh, it does seem rather quiet at the moment. I haven't been disconnected, have I? Nope. <laughs> it's seemed really oddly quiet at this particular, like, I haven't seen a hunter at all. We're already a decent, I say decent chunk in, we are actually a decent chunk in at the moment, and... Nothing has, nothing has been going on. Where are they? What are they up to? Don't like it. Probably that was a terrible, terrible piece of driving by me. I didn't realise that lane was for turning that way only. Um, yeah, where are? Where is everyone? Hmm. Well, we got nothing coming from that way, so we're all good. Onto here. There is a helicopter. Although that helicopter can just be. AI vehicles do take off and land uh, around the... There is one. Okay. That is our first sighting of a hunter car. We can actually go through there. Fantastic stuff. Uh, <laughs> Alright. So, first vehicle just drove past. The joy of a Sultan is it really can drive anywhere and not get noticed. I presume that red light is for these? Don't Right? Sure, it seems a little bit weird. I, mean, I guess, yeah, you'd have, you know, you'd have lights for the crossing and everything, but... I heard I should be for... I don't know. <laughs> Not sure. Never mind. Ignore me. Um, okay, we're up for... Towards the next one, I should go sit here. So far, this survival hunt has been sit at traffic lights for the first little while. Uh, now, we're on this road, so if we go all the way down, take a right, and then it should be the first left, uh, will be the one that we want. Now, this, I think, might be a worthwhile um, jump out of the car job by the looks of it. Uh, we should have time to jump out and get it. That's something suspiciously bright pink behind us. What is that? Maybe it's cars not rendering in. Oh, my guy was doing a little dance. That's something that can give you away. Uh, doesn't always... The AIs do little dances as well sometimes. But, uh, yeah, generally it's a little bit more suspicious. It's not even that the AI the AI do the little dances. However, the fact is it's a bit weird, so you t tend to get checked. And, well, if you get checked... Oh, that's like every time. Every time. Like, we're kind of close in these situations. I say that was a hunter. No, it can't. It looked like a hunter because it looked like it was going way too quickly around here. But if it was a hunter, it wouldn't be stopped at a set of lights and it wouldn't be sat there with the bloody brake lights on. There's no reason why they would be doing this. Certainly not at this, at this juncture. It was just a quick, a quick going, uh, quick going AI car. Fine. Fine. Okay. That's, I'm pretty sure there's a pre down there. I just can't look around the corner to see. Come on. Please let there be a pre down there. Yes, there is. Lovely stuff. Right. Okay, so here is what we are going to do. Uh, we are going to spin the car around. Actually, half decently parked. We're going to call Lester. <laughs> Lester, my good friend, we are in need of your services. So Lester can do the cops tell a blind eye. means I can blow the car up in peace. Uh, and we will be... What service are you looking for? Done. Home free. Well, to an extent, home free. Right. Sticky bomb... Not the people, just sticky bomb the car. That'll do. 
get in this. Now, I'm not allowed to drive halfway across the city and blow the car up. Uh, however, I'm allowed to drive a little bit away as long as I'm within, you know, visual range at this point. So, from here, for example, uh, we can detonate the car. And that is one exploded pre. Okay. And we are away. Actually, relatively nicely away as well because we'll get a green light here. We are not home free yet but I'm going to follow these cars up ahead we're just going to sit behind these at the set of lights it's a smidge of an awkward place oh here they come <laughs> what a wonderful cacophony of noise to oh god they've got the stockade as well that's not what you want at all is it oh that stockade is terrifying to see that heading towards you. Uh, there are some more cars coming around the corner. Oh. Gee. Okay, I definitely want out of here. Thankfully, it's green lights all the way. That is what we like to see. Green lights, let's keep going in this direction. Uh, now, is there anybody around to notice if I run a red light here? No, I don't think there is, actually. So, the reason I'm running a red light is I want to try and get on the motorway, maybe. Actually, maybe I don't need the motorway. Maybe I just need to keep running this direction. Um, because my thinking here is that... Uh, now, I'm allowed to do this turn, I believe, because it is clear. And the AIs... If I don't do this turn, the AIs actually stack up behind me. Whew. Actually, not a bad bit of distance we made on there. We've run quite a long way up to the top of the map. That's fine. I think there's a car towards Michael's house that I might head towards. I think that's a good a good way to go. If we can keep dragging the hunters from side to side on the map. Go away, Paige. Don't care. If we can keep dragging the hunters from side to side, not really knowing quite where I am. Uh, if you hear scrabbling in the background, there is cat zoomies going on. Yes. The best, the most distracto thing that we could possibly have happening is... Some cat zoomies. Whew. We snuck out of that one pretty good, actually. The flight of the bumblebees came past, and uh, <laughs> yeah, we made we made the ground. Kind of relatively happy with that. The cops. We might actually get to Michael's house too quickly. We might still have. We might not be able to call the have the blind eye. Thing. Although if, it doesn't matter if we can't because we if we if the service isn't available. I can just blow the car up and then immediately lose the wanted level. We don't want the police around. They get in the way. They cause problems. Um, why is that car not going on the left of us? That had a green light for ages before it actually bothered to go. That seems a bit weird. But never mind. That's a thing that happens, apparently. The blimp of doom is hovering and looking, but it hasn't really got much going on. The fusillades are absolutely mad today. The fusillades are in a hurry, it would seem. Now, I want to... actually do want to swap lanes. I want to be over here this time. Yeah, Mum. Yeah, the fuselades are just they're determined to go. Where are you? Oh, okay, you're heading down there. That makes sense. That, that does make sense there. Uh, right. Okay, we should be good to join here. Okay. We'll shuffle across and head up towards... As I said, I think it's Michael's house this one's located at. I don't mind if we have to wait at a set of lights just for a minute. It's all good. I really haven't seen that many cars at the moment. It makes me wonder, often when it's quiet like this, it makes me wonder whether there's been some AI shenanigans. Basically, if AIs are having shenanigans of their own, it's quite possible that the hunters are off in a big group somewhere, maybe chasing an AI car. We've seen it before. I haven't seen it for a while. There's been more tended to be ourselves than the older ones. They've had just entire groups run halfway across the map going after something that's stuck. Or they can be bumbling around, crashing into oncoming lane traffic. I mean, that could be a hunter, it could just be a derp-tastic AI. That is entirely possible, to be honest with you. That did look mighty odd. Hmm. What? I, I mean, it stopped again. What's it doing over the other side of the road? I don't know. That's very weird. I was on a slightly further up road than I realised. That's fine. We're... We take a left here, and then it's the next left, pretty much. Oh, traffic's a nightmare, but... <laughs> it's fictional LA, what else do you expect? Hey, 
Okay, there goes someone. The, oh, the traffic here is a horrific, horrific garbage fire. How am I going to negotiate this? I really need to go left. Uh oh. Um. Well, I'm just going to go with the rest of the cars here. Uh. Oh, I don't know if I can blow up a pre with this many vehicles around me. That is a concern. That is definitely a concern. Scooby-Doo is currently driving a mupava around the place. Uh, they've got a load of cars stuck in... I can't blow something up here. This is way too dangerous. <laughs> My hope can be that if I head up that direction... That's definitely... It's asking for so much trouble. Maybe at least I can find where the car is. Have I got up here too soon, possibly? I can't remember my ways around here very well. Uh, I, I, my brain, I'm just drawing a blank on everything because I was busy panicking about how many cars were around. No, this is Michael's house up here, isn't it? So it's, it is somewhere around this. I think it might be... No, it is, okay, it is actually right here. Okay, so it is in Michael's driveway. The problem is, is that, well, there were cars just directly around. I'm going to have to turn around somewhere. Is that siren... Is that siren the riot truck? And if it is, where the hell is the riot truck? Don't know. <laughs> I don't like it. Definitely don't like it. It's way too busy around here for my... Well, for me... Basically, it's far too busy. Okay, we're going to have to go for a, a U-turn somewhere. It'll be around this way, probably. It's going to be my best bet for a U-turn. Subtly. Oh, okay, they're, they're definitely hanging about over there. It's one of those things is that it's really easy to get distracted slightly as, as a hunter, but you just kind of end up grouping up almost accidentally with other players, and then you fart around a little bit because uh, something weird's happened or you haven't seen me for a while, and it, occasionally I happen to wander towards the group that is farting around, and that's, well, scary for me. I don't think I'm going to have time to get out of the car for this one. I think this is going to have to be a ye oldie. So this does give me a potential trouble going forward with this. I don't quite know how the junction here works. I'm just going to guesswork it. Um, I guess worked it a little dangerously there, to say the bloody least. Um... Oh, there are so many cars around here. I know I can turn, but I have also got to call Lester at the moment. AI, please, please don't be coming this way. Hey uh, Alright, that's good. I'll deal with it. This is so dangerous. Uh, I think one of those is close enough. Okay, one of them was close enough at least. That's good. <laughs> Ooh, come on, come on, let me get out of here. Uh, it is clear to turn left. We are This is the, I really want to run away, but I don't want to run away in an obvious manner. That's bad news. That's really not what we need here. There's too many cars around us currently. Someone gonna blink. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn it. And it's just, they swarmed. I guess it might be the case of it's the classic. I might have gone for a Sultan again. Or they might have seen it move away, because I can't... I promise I can't look back at all times. Ah, that's annoying. There's so many around there. There was a little risky, I'll be honest, going for that car. I didn't want to... I didn't want to have to drive away from... from that if I could avoid it, just because, you know, it would take all the time to get there. So I didn't want to have to try and drive away from it. Uh, right. Underground we head. Uh... Can I do any sneaky manoeuvres under here? I mean, I've got a good gap to them at the moment, uh, which is helpful. I, I actually really wanted to get up there without having to use my brakes. Uh, the reason being is if I could have managed to do that without using my brakes, I might have actually struggled to see where I went, because uh, I've got quite a distance on them. Oh, I might actually be able to do something else while I'm here. Oh, okay, that's not a great placed one, but better than nothing. Uh, we have... 
got rid of that one. Um, oh, there's a car shot that way. <laughs> it's a cunning plan. I spot a blimp that I don't want to actually have to deal with. Can we get away? Can I duck out of the way of a blimp here? Possibly. Have I got a car chasing me? No, I don't. Where is here? Here is a good place to lie low for a minute or three. We're well, we're very well secluded. So unless you saw me drive in here, the chance of you ever seeing this car is small. Uh, you're not going to see it from the sky? Well, we're undercover. You're not going to see it from the road. That's got very, very high walls. That way is completely covered by the wall we're alongside, so you'd have to drive in here. Now, might you drive in here looking possibly, are you going to know what way I've gone from... It's unlikely. Not impossible, but it is unlikely. It does make it difficult for me to leave. This is always the, the sketchy part. This is always the bit that's very difficult for me, is how the hell do we get out of here? Now, because if I get out of here, if I try and get out of here on foot, well, we're on foot, on foot is dangerous. Is that one of them? Or is that just a primo parked up? Uh, are my lights still off? They are. Okay, that's just a normal primo. That's just normal traffic. I thought it was missing a bonnet. That's why I was slightly confused by it. Uh, I'm not allowed to just, you know, hide the entire time. I'm not allowed to just remain stationary. I do have to leave here at some point. But I also don't want to leave here too soon. Right. I mean, if I'm on foot, I do at least... Get in cover, you fool. Alright, now, stay in cover behind the bloody car. I definitely heard something. Now, I don't know what I did here. Did I hear a hunter car? Did I hear just an AI vehicle driving normally? Can I climb that wall? Yes, I can. Uh, let's take that gun away. Ah! I'm hoping that car wasn't looking up. Oh, for God's sake. Well, that's annoying. <laughs> I knew I heard something. Now, they are going to call people in, but at least... So this is why... Oh. This is why I kept the car fairly close. Uh, is that we need to make a sneaky getaway. I can at least bolt in a Sultan. You know, and that's why I was a little bit... I'm glad I didn't jump over that wall immediately, because I could just jump back in the car and we can be off again. God damn it. That's unlucky. Just happened to be somebody there. Uh, right. Come on then, Sultan. Let's see what we can do. Oh! Wait. Uh, sticky bomb, please. If you would be so kind. Uh, <laughs> I kind of know where I am. I didn't even expect... I didn't even realise there was one there. That was just a ha very happy accident. Lester, my good friend. Uh, I have blown up a car. Again. Look, this is a common occurrence. Jeez, I was messing around with a phone and then somebody turned up uh, with the shafter. Oh, okay. There we go. Let's get out of there. Not my finest piece of driving, actually. A little bit distracted. Don't try and be a getaway driver one on the phone is probably a good piece of advice. You should probably concentrate on the driving aspect here. Um, <laughs> I didn't even want to be in a Sultan the entire time, but it has just been decreed that I'm not allowed to swap vehicles. Um, well, it's stuck down here. I'm not going to be far enough away to have confused them, I don't think. No, they did see me go on the motorway. I mean, that's kind of to be expected a little bit. Um, we've just got to try The blimp hasn't really got into this one uh, all too much. Oh, come on, get up. Get up onto this road. Ah, that was a good attempt, actually. I'll give them that. 10 out of 10 effort on the takeout. They weren't to know what way I was going. And they tried. They gambled it. <laughs> they gambled it. got bloody close as well. Uh, right. Don't take out the signs. You lose this time. A little bit as I say that, I make a bigger mistake through the next bloody corner. Come on. Come on. How are they doing? They've got a limo. They've got a... Something else. Giving chase. Bounce across the curbs, that's fine, no problem. Keep foot down all the way through here. Uh, try to use a little bit of my straight line speed in the sole turn. Please be a drive throughable one, it was, thankfully. Uh, oh! Christ, the evil, evil Sand King that turned up there. Uh, kitten, not now. Kitten, behave. Uh, <laughs> don't you dare start climbing on the computer. Uh, that would be bad times for all involved. Uh, right, ah, uh, the, the blimp is a kitten that's climbing on the computer. 
great. I can't actually deal with you at the moment. Kitten, if you're going to climb up there, at least just flop down and don't do anything. God damn it. They have employed the distractor. The distractor cat is now climbing on the Hot Wheels cars. Distracto cat, you are going to be in so much trouble in a minute. I can't deal with you currently, though. Distracto cat, no. Get off. Behave yourself. I must deal with... Where is Blimpus? What is Blimpus doing? Does Blimpus know where I am? Probably not, to be honest with you. I have got quite a long way away from Blimpus. Uh, it turns out, driving without paying attention to really what's going on, you can make a decent amount of distance. Um, if we drive into here, and if we keep... I mean, I'm really wanting just to be further away from everything. We can try and use these alleyways uh, to get further away from everything. No, they've still found us. Oh, how did... Oh, I guess that's the GTA collisions, like, rear corner of the car just nudged it sideways. Don't quite know how that uh, found where we were. I've got a kitten behind a case of Hot Wheels cars. That's not going to end disastrously wrong for anybody at all. Uh, <laughs> Damn it. They obviously did see well enough. It's so difficult. You just can't necessarily tell when you've got far, far enough away. Whoa, bike, hello. Alright. We're going to have to dive up this way. We're back where we started all of this uh, once again. Uh, we will head over here for a bit. Uh, they're, they're struggling to really stop us. We aren't really in a position to, to stop my car. But I'm also not really losing them at the moment. The blimpy's struggling. I mean, it's it's quite a long way back at the moment. I could really do a losing this chase, if at all possible. Um, thank you, kitten. <laughs> Decided to pull games out of the cabinet behind me. Why? I don't know. So I presume that's what it was. I can't actually look and find out. Next time I think I'm locking the office. I feel like that might be something that I have to do here. Oh, can I make that turn? That's a really difficult corner to make. But it's a really difficult corner to see as well. They did see it. I need to... <laughs> can we disconnect the brake lights? I feel like we need to... We need to do that one next time. Can we go for a disconnecting of the brake lights? Oh, that's risky. Again, I'm going for hope that last minute change of direction isn't going to be seen. Hope that these little dives off the motorway, for example, there wasn't seen. I don't. It doesn't look like it was but it's so difficult to know. And if I keep running too far, we get into another chase because I just run into somebody like that, but I can't just insta-swap cars. Damn it. We have lost the blimp, at least. I mean, it is only a limo currently behind us. So there is that. Whoop. Through the gap, through the gap. Uh-oh. Up over. Ow. Uh, that's bad and everything. Come on, Sultan. <laughs> I'll take that hit, because I'd rather... Oh. Grab, grab reverse. Sticky bomb ready. I think there's a car somewhere down here. There is. Uh, no, never going to get that one. Um, well. Oh, I did. It was close enough. Sweet. I thought that was going to be way too far gone. But no. No, apparently not. Um, that's fine. I'll take the I'll take the bonus. I'll take the bonus. I'll take another pre-explosion while on the run. The stealth has gone out the window a little bit in this. I just can't shake the cars. We're back on the phone again. Lester, are you able to help, my friend, at this moment, in my moment of need? Can you, we require some Hi. assistance again? Uh, oh. Move oh, that wanted level. Can't Thank you. The uh, okay. Leave well, it I'm up Scooby-Doo has joined the chain. What is the time? It's, oh god, it's so long to go. It's half eleven we've got to get to. We are, I mean, we could, if anything can, it would be a sultan that could survive the entire time. Uh, the, the legend of the Sultan. It has been a while. I think it is fair that I have another go with this. I say fair. Uh, shall I just go screw it? We'll just go run towards another pre if we can. Um, oh, there is one all the way on the outskirts bit. Um, is that like that like construction site area? I can't remember what it's... I don't actually know what it's called. Is it Mirror Park, I think? In fact, we have actually just outrun them down a straight here. I'm just going to use... Kitten, will you behave yourself, please? <laughs> uh, oh, there is also one up here. I forgot about that one. Okay, well... You know what? I'll take it. <laughs> They're gonna know where I am, but can they do anything about it at this particular moment in time? I don't even know if they can. Uh, I'm just going for a screw you all. I'm continuing to run away, and I'm going on the motorway now. There's the blimp. If the blimp sees me, it won't keep up with me. It might not even see me, to be honest. No, it has seen me. It knows I'm on the motorway. 
but I'm just going to put my foot down now. If we can run this way and run this way... Oh, a decent distance. Oh, no, I got screwed by a police car. Uh, that's annoying. That is actually really annoying. Okay, turn around. New plan. I was busy looking at the blimp. I didn't realise. I guess the police car spawned in because it spawns in without the lights on. Uh, police have causes grief. That was a really good plan until the bloody police car turned up. Uh, oh, that's a risky place to go. It's very, very narrow through there. And if I do it wrong, we get in a world of pain. Oh, the Muppet just jumped off the motorway. <laughs> Can I please lose this bloody wanted level now? I can't call Lester because of, well, I'm out. I should have used... Problem is I'm doing this so quickly, I can't actually get the damn... Uh, what's it called? Uh, cops turn a blind eye. I just can't call it in in time. So... There is that. Where is everybody? Where is the blimp? Have they got any idea where the Sultan is? Okay, we have lost the police. Please don't go after me again because I'm driving a stolen car. I could really do without that. Uh, now the blimp is still up in the sky. Yeah, they're still behind us. There's still a car. So I can't do any sneaky grabbing of vehicles at the moment. Um, I mean, I've been around this part already. Uh, once or twice or about four times. So we should go for straight line speed again because this is the blimp can't match the straight line speed of this. Uh, so we will go out of render distance. It knows what direction I'm traveling in but you know I guess I've got to try to use advantages where I can. The blimp is surely not going to know where I am. I'm a very very long way at this point. Oh, I don't know how good the how good the vision is. I have flown the blimps a little bit. It's difficult to tell if it knows. Uh, it definitely it does still know. Damn it! Okay, that wasn't even that wasn't far enough away to outmaneuver the bloody blimp. At least I presume not. I kind of got to keep an eye back there without <laughs> trying to watch the sky. Now it's caught up. There's that little snag almost on a couple of vehicles was the problem for me. Oh, let's make that turn. Where is the blimp? Can't see it currently. Uh, I want to get away almost from easy to navigate landmarks. There it is. It's still hanging around. Uh, I could try get the junkyard I've been killed in before. Uh, there is a player Futo. Oh, that's a dead end. That's not the bit that I thought it was. That's okay though. At least I assume it was a player Futo. Oh, either that or is someone has rammed into the car before. Uh, we're still at least moving. No, we're not anymore. Uh, we are still able to move. Uh, I'll take it. Come on. Come on. Sultan. How is a Sultan being beaten up by a Primo here? Uh, <laughs> thank you for the flare. <laughs> you pulled. You had the wrong gun drawn for that. <laughs> you really did have the wrong gun drawn for that fight. <laughs> oh, yes. The flare gun. That is 100% the way to go. Uh with that uh, with that one. That manoeuvre could work, I just need a lot more space to pull that off, a lot more uh, a lot more of a gap basically. I'm going to play silly buggers on the on the motorway if I can here. Uh, I mean we've got the we've got the car for this in some ways. Uh, just not quite not quite the distance yet. It start it is we're starting to get the distance. This should give the blimp some trouble. I mean I can't see I can't make out which one is is the hunters. The blimp is up in the sky over to the left. Right. Let's get out of here. Back onto the motorway we head. Can I do any sneaky bugger manoeuvres down here? The blimp has kind of seen, but I don't know how well it has seen. Oh, right. Jump down here. This could work. It could fail spectacularly. I'm not really sure. I'm hoping there's enough buildings there for the blimp not to know. Now, I want to get away which means away from that motorway stretch this direction please I don't think they're going to have seen I don't think they're going to know which way I've gone here we have kind of looped back on ourselves a little bit in some regards but I think we might finally be away and I've got a car park I can head towards it's next to a police station and everything Sultan you have done an amazing job here you were asked way more than you probably should have been asked. Way more than I intended for you to be asked. However... It's not a car that we can grab. 
However, you have done one hell of a getaway job. Oh, that is why the Sultans are amazing. Now, I mean, the, the ultimate question is, do they know where the hell I've gone? And how do I get out of the car park? That's the question. Question one: Do they know where I've gone? Question two: Do they do? Do I have any chance of getting out of this car park in one piece? Um, I'm going to have a gun ready. Basically, if somebody comes up here, we're shooting, and we might have to shoot our way out. I don't want to have to go to this. We are a long way away from where they lost me. As far as getting a record goes for number of pre's exploded, we've done good. I don't think it's, it's not quite going to be that record. Um, we came third in the challenge. Oh. We got out of this one alive. Which is, I, I find is quite remarkable, really. Um, uh, Tony, how's it going, my friend? I'm going to go down the stairs. I've got to keep an ear out for cars, basically. And they might... They know I do like to go in car parks. I mean, I like... Of course I like to go in these car parks. It's the, well, safety, basically, of these car parks that that I like, you know, they're undercover. If there's a blimp around you, you're well hidden, all that sort of stuff. Um, so yes, I am likely to go into a, well, possibly go into a car park, but they don't know what way I went. I, I, drew, I was a long way away from everybody at the point where we have hidden, and I think I've sent them the wrong way, on the most part anyway. So here we go. Let's have a little bit of a peek around. We can use a little bit of sneaky camera work. that car coming in here. That I don't like the sound of. Is that their big... Oh, you know what, if I go in the basement, they won't expect me to have gone down, would they? I wouldn't have expected me to go down, necessarily. Ah, oh, I don't know whether that car actually came in. The problem is if they come in, they'll probably find the salter. You find a abandoned, battered sultan. You're going to be like, well, he's around here, and they can bring everyone over, and then I'm trapped in a corner. If you don't, if you just drive past, I mean, I feel like we've got to try and get away from here now. Oh, well, someone has died. Okay, let's just get, let's just walk away now. I'm not gonna carry weaponry. I am gonna have to try and keep myself. There is that car. It's still driving around. Obviously, it's not gone into the building. Then if it's driving about. It's obviously not seen me, not seen my vehicle, otherwise you'd probably be, I'd expect you to be paying attention to that area, perhaps. I hate being on foot. It's such a dangerous thing being on foot with one of these. Yes, you are less likely to be looked at, and I don't know what I look like, but still, it's not a very enjoyable experience, shall we say. That car is still circling around. Maybe they did find the car and they're just not sure where I've gone. Uh, okay, let's just head this way. <laughs> Shall I grab a fire engine for the how much time we got? Not enough time to fart around with a fire engine, sadly. Um, or not so little time that I could get away with farting around with a fire engine, basically. Um, Alright, I, I really want to not be walking that quickly, because I don't think pedestrians tend to overtake each other very much. Uh, I do look like I've pooed myself a little bit there. <laughs> keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Oh, now that is tasty. If I can get to it before the lights go, before the lights change. <sighs> do I just do we just go for the cheese of just all sultans? To be fair, that is the car that is most accessible to me here. Oh, we're going for it. It is most accessible to me. I was tempted to actually go for a bike. Um, hello. 
Get in the door. Oh, look at that as well. The traffic lights and everything. That was glorious. <laughs> Couldn't have done one better if I really tried. All right. We have a vehicle. Now, what is the time? Seven o'clock. We have time for maybe a last pre, a last pre-explosion. There is one... Actually, what I really want to do is... Okay, this is a risky maneuver. I'm going to go for it, though. What I actually really want to do is head down towards the uh, docks area. It's the Elysian Isle. That's the name of the place, I believe. Uh, there is one car on that bit. Now, that's always dangerous blowing something up because it is a little bit cornered, so to speak. Um, but it could work. Maybe. Maybe it could work. Uh, oh, someone has gone for the idea of the fire truck. Um, I'm going to have to try and pretend to be a freaked out AI and go away. I don't want to go. That's actually quite a clever way of trying to find people with that fire truck. You just piss off enough AI cars and, and hope, really. Uh, I don't know whether my act like an AI that was unhappy about being soaked. I don't know whether that was a good a good cover or not, but I felt like it wasn't too bad. And it's not like we've gone that far away from where I was heading anyway, so there is that. I think. I don't know this I always get lost down here sometimes. What bit are we at? We're down there somewhere. So I'm, I'm looking at that. Yeah, I think if we take a left and then we shouldn't be too far away from where I want to go. Which is good. Uh, come on. Come on, Sultan. We can do this. We can do this. We've got this. At least we've got, I think we've got one more pre. Not in the bag, so to speak, but I think we have a good chance of getting one more pre. I'm going to have to get out of Elysian Isle very quickly, though. That's the only sketchy thing down here, because you really are penned in a corner. And they're going to go and have a check. I mean, it does make sense to have a wander around, so they know where the cars are as well. They're not allowed to camp out the vehicles, but it does make sense to go and have a little investigate every now and then to see. Also, sometimes, rare, but sometimes the cars get exploded and it doesn't notify properly, so... They do have a little bit of a look at times, just to see what's, uh, what is what. Um, I don't have much time, so I'm going to work on the principle that we can find the car quickly. I take it this is and a call. that we can blow go. it up. Oh, that's in a really awkward place as well. So yeah, as you can actually just see here. Oh, they have gone and done a check. Oh, they're right next to it. This is annoying for me. That's really annoying. That's very difficult to do much about at this precise moment in time. Uh, they are now heading away from it. Can we do a real sneaky manoeuvre here? Okay. This is cunning. Now... Oh. <laughs> this is cunning. Would be cunning if it actually worked how I wanted it to. Okay, the car is literally over there. Do we reckon that's going to work? Okay, I'm going to do a couple, just to see if I've got it far enough. I want more. One of them might be close enough. That looks like that one there might be. Um, <laughs> damn it, it didn't go far enough down. I'll take it, though, because it's given me enough of a head start. Um... It was actually a good gateway If that fence had been breakable and I could have driven up to it, that would have been wonderful. Uh, they're not going to know where the hell I am. Partly because I don't know where the hell I'm going. I think this takes me towards train! <laughs> takes me, does take me towards a train. Go on train, get that hunter car. Damn it, it didn't. Uh, Sultan, you should be good on this stuff. How long have we got to live? It's nine o'clock. Uh, do we have any more? We could try and get to Mirror Park. I'm half tempted to give it a go. Uh, so there, you do actually go a little faster if you can ride the car on the rails rather than in the gravel. That's what I'm actually trying to do here. It's only a tiny bit and you can never do it for that long, but it's better than nothing. Oh! There's a gap there that we can get the car down. Uh, I think I thought there was a car on the track. Did I not see, just see a car on the track? I thought I did. I might be wrong at this point. Even I'm not sure quite what happened in all of that. Oh, turn around, turn around. I think I want to go this way. I mean, that plan worked pretty good. 
Uh, I'll take that. As far as sneakums go, I don't think anyone knows where I've gone. I partly don't know where I've gone either. It should be noted that I'm not 100% sure I know where I've gone here. Um... But there we go. No, I'm not quite not quite where I want to be, actually. A little, a little bit further around. Uh, can I go and grab... Do I just dump this cart and quickly grab something else? Maybe. What is the time? How long have we got? Oh! Oh, no. Ah, no, it was... Uh, I'm not quite sure where I am. <laughs> well, I, I do know where I am. I'm just not quite where I thought I was, maybe? No, I um, oh, didn't see that fire engine until it was a little, a little bit too late. Yes, use the fire engine, use the hose. Uh, no, I was I was going the right direction. I just got minorly turned around. This is the thing, when you've... I'm so busy thinking about dealing with the cars and stuff. So they did know... They also knew a little bit of where I went by virtue of cars being around there. Or maybe they were trying to find what way I might go towards getting the next vehicle. There's nothing down here for me to blow up. Ah, I should. I well, say I should. Maybe I can still actually try and turn my way back towards that one in Mirror Park. Is that truck a player? No. I did think it was for a second the way it moved across the road. The Phoenix has got more top end than the Sultan. What? Is that true? That doesn't seem right. That does not. I say Mirror. I could be using that completely wrong as well. I'm not actually convinced that, that is the name of the place. Uh, oh damn it! I was hoping they were not were near close enough behind me to actually end up getting carried away down there and go the wrong direction. Oh, Sultan, find some grip. That's bad news for me. Uh-oh. No! Oh, great shot from Liam. That was so close on the time. I didn't actually... I wasn't looking at the time. How close was that? That was seconds to go, I think. Ah, oh, it was an hour. It's two minutes. Two minutes to go. What got me in that, if I could have got that car moving forward, I would have done it. When I went to go forwards, I got it. Wet. It was wedged between the trees, but it got pinged around. I maybe got greedy on that. Maybe I should have swapped out the Sultan when I could have done. I might have got a little greedy trying to go for another another pre on that one. I think that is, yeah, it's a little too much, a little too much greed from me. There definitely were vehicles heading that direction. I might not have got the car swap off without getting seen, but maybe, maybe we should have done. Um. <laughs> Well, I mean, we all like to see it, really. There we go. Should probably have done that sooner. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. Damn and blast. It was good. It was a good... It was some great chases in that. It was some sneaking away, some good hiding. I just what asked a little bit. For? Asked a little too okay, much at the okay, end. Okay, and... Uh, uh, no See, so silly, silly driving mistakes, yeah. Maybe shouldn't have tried to be so greedy. I uh, got a little bit unlucky with being pinged around. Could have got in more trouble earlier on, to be fair. A couple of times as well, where I could have been in a little bit more trouble. Got a bit lucky escaping, but there we go. That is going to be it for this, for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye. So, just before uh, we end this video, quick little bit of, uh, I say news, a little bit of promotion. Uh, there is some new Fair Race merch uh, out and about. There is a couple of t-shirts, a mug. I particularly love the mug. It looks absolutely fantastic. I regularly drink lots of tea uh, with it. Uh, I'll have pictures on the screen, hopefully, uh, at the moment. And, uh, yeah, please do go and do go and check it out uh, if you want to help support the channel, etc. Uh, there'll be a link to it in the description. There's also a code if you want to get uh, an extra 10% off uh, your order uh, so yeah do go and do go and have a look at the one people at uh, fresh uh, fresh merch co there we go i can't speak very well although you already knew that about me i've done an incredible job of of making this stuff up so yeah do go and do go and have a look see if anything uh, takes your fancy that though actually is going to be it now for the video so end music outro now hopefully